Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with a software overview of the UHD 88-EXP400R-K 8x8 Video Matrix and HDMI Extender Kit. This product provides an embedded web interface that you can easily access by either directly connecting it to your computer through an 8-pin cable or by simply adding it to your network and opening a browser. And that software control is incredibly powerful because even though you can make selections with the remote control or through the buttons on the front and even change configuration settings using the buttons on the front, the software interface provides a lot more information about how the unit's operating and some of the selections you can make on which video is sent to which output, EDID settings, resolution settings, and other parameters you're going to care an awful lot about. So in this video, first I'll show you how to make the connection to the unit, and then I'll step through all of the menus and explain the different options so you know exactly how to configure this device for your particular application. And then I'll come back at the end with a few final thoughts. So stay tuned, we'll get into the connection first, and then I'll walk through the menus. To use the embedded software on the 8x8 video matrix, you'll first need to connect the product to your computer, and there are a few options available for this connection. You can make a direct connection between the RS-232 port on the back of the product and an older computer that has an 8-pin port available. The kit includes a cable to make this connection really easy. You'll plug this end into the port in the back of the product and this end into your computer and you can access the internal software. There's also a LAN port available on the back and you can connect this up to your local area network and use any standard web browser to access the embedded software by simply opening a page located at 192.168 .1.100, and you'll see the embedded GUI. The third option is to connect this directly to your computer to access that same web interface. Now, the advantage of adding this to your network means you can control this product from a greater distance than using a direct connection here or here, but the choice is yours completely. Once you've made a connection to the video matrix through the RS-232 or LAN port, you'll be greeted with the logon screen. Initially, you can use the default credentials of capital admin for the username and lowercase admin for the password. When you've entered these, tap the log on button to continue. Once you've logged into the device, you'll be on the initial status page where you can view a lot of important information about the matrix. Here you'll find the current level of firmware the product is running, which is important in case there is an update you'll need to apply later on. You'll also see the current connection details, such as the IP address and subnet mask. These can be changed later on if needed to match the network you'll be connecting to. The next tab down is the video tab that allows you to view and change which input is sent to which output. You can do this by simply clicking the arrow next to the input you'd like to change and select the new input for that particular output. Once you've made your selection, click the set button to make this change permanent. If this is a preset that you'll use often, you can save it to make it easier to recall later on. If you want to set all of the inputs back to the original outputs, you can tap the clear button for each to reset them. The input tab allows you to customize each of your video inputs. On this tab, you can rename each input to one that makes it easier to remember what device you have connected to that port. You can also see which of the inputs is connected to a media device and is currently active. Finally, you have the ability to individually adjust the EDID settings for each device to accommodate a wide range of resolutions and frame rates for each media device connected to the matrix. You can adjust each of these individually or recall a save setting from memory. The output tab provides similar control over all eight of the output streams. It shows you if you have a remote receiver connected and if you're using the local loopback function for each of the outputs. You can rename each of these outputs on this page to make them easier to remember. The matrix provides automatic scaling and also allows you to adjust the setting manually if needed. Finally, you can enable and disable each output individually as needed from this screen. The next tab is the CEC tab, which allows you to completely control the matrix through a digital remote just by clicking your mouse. This screen provides total control over your input devices, and you simply select an input and then use the icons to pause, play, or fast forward the content. The output section provides the same type of control over the content you're sharing with your remote locations. You can enable and disable individual outputs and local displays, as well as adjust the volume if needed at these locations. The network tab is where you can make adjustments to the logon information for the matrix. You can change its network address on the LAN and either choose this manually or let DHCP find an open address if your network provides this feature. 
You can also change the login credentials for both the user and admin accounts. This page even allows you to rename the matrix to something custom if you're using the device in a commercial installation. You also have the ability to completely reset these values to the factory settings if needed. The final tab provides expanded control over how the matrix operates and allows you to adjust some basic settings to your needs. You can enable and disable the panel lock, turn the beeping on and off, as well as control how long the LCD display stays on after a period of inactivity. If you're using the RS-232 port to connect, you can actually change the serial baud rate as needed to match your computer. This is also the screen that you'll use to update firmware later on if needed. You can simply browse for the file in your computer and apply it to the matrix. Finally, this tab allows you to do a complete factory reset of the matrix or even reboot it over the network if it needs to be reset. I hope you found this software overview for the O-Ray 8x8 video matrix and HDMI extender kit helpful because the embedded web interface provides tremendous control over exactly how this product operates and allows you to fine tune both the output and the input to match any circumstance. And even though you have some control from the infrared wireless remote and even more control from the front end buttons, having the ability to open up a GUI interface where you can see all the parameters and make changes on the fly and more importantly save those changes for later use is incredibly powerful. And the other main point is that the remote control and the buttons on the front require you to be close to the unit. If you add this to a network, you can manage it from quite a distance away, opening up a simple web browser. So I hope you found this review helpful, and until next time, thanks for watching.